I'm Mr. Jackson, Chief Meteorologist David Eckerd. Well, it's something that's very infamous when we talk about hurricane season. That is the forecast cone. But one thing you may not know is the forecast cone actually changes a little bit every year. And we now know what the 2023 hurricane forecast cone is going to look like by the National Hurricane Center for the Atlantic Basin. But let's first off talk about how we actually create a forecast cone because it's not really a cone. It's actually a series of circles. So what am I talking about here? Well, when the National Hurricane Center builds its forecast, the first thing they do is actually build points where they think the system is going to track in 12, 24, 36, 72 hours, all the way out to five days. And they also predict storm intensity in that time period. So oftentimes, some, or sometimes you'll see a bit of a line that sits right through the center of that forecast cone. That's where the National Hurricane Center is forecasting the track of that particular system. But there's always some uncertainty with a forecast. And so what the Hurricane Center does, is they create circles around these forecasts. And the size of the circle is determined by historical track errors. The track errors are based on the forecast over the last five years. And so you can see these circles that kind of develop around each one of these points. To actually make the forecast cone, what we do is basically fill in the area between the outer bounds of those circles. And that's how we end up with a forecast cone, which gets, again, bigger and bigger and bigger as you move forward into time. Now, one thing we do want to stress about a forecast cone is one key point. The Hurricane Center is already putting in inherent air. So as a storm tracks inside the forecast cone, it's only supposed to be there two thirds of the time. That's a really big number, which means one third of the time it's going to be out here away from the forecast cone or at some point it will deviate out of the forecast cone. So when you really stop and think about it, that means one third of the time the center of circulation is actually going to exit the forecast cone. And this is not even taking into account the size of systems or the potential impacts of those systems. For example, huge systems like Irma can impact entire states and the forecast cone sometimes doesn't really convey uh, that threat across a large area. The very first forecast cone was actually issued in 2002. You may think these forecast cones have been around forever. They have not. And to be quite honest, the forecast cone that was issued back in July of 2002 is gigantic. Look at how big it is in the Canadian Maritimes. In fact, this outer bound here, the day four, day five number, is about the same size as all of New England. So it really was not a very accurate forecast cone when the National Hurricane Center first developed this in 2002. The forecast models got more and more powerful. And here is the forecast cone from Tropical Storm Barry in 2007. Notice how much tighter this forecast cone is compared to what I just showed you back in 2002. This looks more like a traditional forecast cone that we think about, but we've even gotten better and better with it. However, we're not going to be talking about rapid improvement with forecast cones in the coming years, mainly based on the fact the National Hurricane Center has gotten really good at forecasting systems. So here's what the 2023 National Hurricane Center forecast cone will look like. No changes really in the first 24 hours with this system. You're not going to see any dramatic changes. There will be a slight increase in the forecast cone in 36 hours, about a 2% increase. We've actually gotten a little bit better in the medium range here. So at 60 hours and 72 hours, the forecast cone will be shrinking a little bit. And yes, the forecast cone actually gets a little bit bigger in day four and day five. It's gonna be 2% bigger at 96 hours and 3% bigger at 120 hours. And that equates to about five nautical miles. So it'll be about five nautical miles bigger from the center than it has been just in 2022. And again, that's a product of the fact that we've gotten a little bit better in some time periods of forecasting hurricanes, but a little bit worse actually in some of the longer range modeling. So again, the forecast cone, a pivotal piece of what we use to convey what's going on with the tropical Atlantic. But unfortunately, we're not going to see forecast cones shrink dramatically more, I think, in the coming years. And it is just an indication that it's just one possible solution. Again, one third of the time, the center of that circulation will somehow exit the forecast cone. I'm News for Jackson's Chief Meteorologist David Heckard for Channel 4, the local station.